Meaning, I was cut off. Meaning, there are things that are definite violations of freedom of speech. Meaning, you can't just say everything or anything. However, political correctness doesn't fall into that category. And part of why it's important to me to talk about this is because part of how they attacked me was, well, this isn't politically correct or that isn't politically correct. But is it because I'm saying it? And that's part of what I said in a different um, video where they seem to focus so much on me that they let all sorts of other crime happen, all sorts of other bad things happen. But what about, what about me? What about, so I think here's my idea on this. That was supposed to be me doing it. Like I was supposed to turn out so self-centered, but I think because they focus so much on me, I don't like to be the center of attention. Do you get what I'm saying? I think people will look at that and say, ah, that does make sense. So when you're talking about a program that focuses so much on you, like, oh my God, not them again. And 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 just bombarding me. Like when I say I'm bombarding them with me, they bombard me with criticisms of me that it's exhausting. So when I'm doing these videos and I'm actually me and I'm talking about things that I like, they don't like it because it wasn't supposed to be me, me. It was supposed to be their version of me. The other big deal about that is going back to politically correctness. If we spend time criticizing people's speech, not because it is a vi violation of protected speech, but because it's just something we don't like. We wouldn't have time to focus on more important things. And because some people will say that's not offensive at all, it doesn't violate the First Amendment. It does, it's not outside of the First Amendment protection. It's just stuff I might not like to hear. Then anything could fall into that category. And we would go into the realm of violating the First Amendment freedom of speech. So if we went into just plain old politically correctness, we would then have to change the First Amendment. And part of what, and I said this previously, part of what helped as a Black person is having the First Amendment and having the freedom to talk about things that were done to violate our civil and human rights. If we didn't have the ability to speak on things and if, if, if they were able to take away that in the name of political correctness, we would not have had civil rights. We would not have had human rights. And I'm saying this as a woman, as a black person, especially as a woman, you know, they bring up certain things that they've heard someone say to me without knowing why it was said or how it was said or, or, or the reason behind it. And in their mind, well, that is not politically correct. But if it's something that I want to be said, or I don't mind being said, or it's a joke that comes from something, then it's not violating my view of political correctness. So they cannot put their version of me onto me. The other big point about this is that in trying to make everything about politically correct, political correctness, it turns our minds into Everyone must be alike. Then I would tell them if everyone must be alike, then everyone should be treated alike. Thank you for watching.